Hi friends, welcome to Abhyanvi Tutorials. In this video, we will see some of the analytical questions and uh, solutions in the ISTQB Foundation level exam. Analytical questions means uh, some sort of calculations uh, we will see so that uh, you can do easily in the exam. So for example, in this question, uh, which of the following risk represents the highest level of risk of the project? Okay. So risk of the project is nothing but uh, likelihood into impact. Okay. So first one, if you product, if you multiply those two, you will get right one into one. So you will get one. Okay. So one million. Million means ten lakhs, right? So ten lakhs into ten lakhs means ten power six, right? So 1 into 10 power 6. Okay. Second one is uh, 10 into 10 into 5 lakhs. Okay. So that is nothing but 5 into 10 power 6. Third one is 20 into 1 lakh 50,000. Right. So that is nothing but uh, 5, 6, 3 into 10 power 6, right? 3 into 10 power 6. So last one is 5 into 5 into 10 power 5. That means 2.5 into 10 power 6. So which is the highest 5 into 10 power 6? Okay. So answer is B. Okay, we will go to the next question. So consider the pseudocode. So here is the pseudocode is given. So he is asking how many test cases are needed to achieve the hundred percent decision coverage. Okay. So whenever pseudocode is given, then immediately you try to draw the flow chart like this. Okay. Begin. Read gender. Okay. So read gender. Just uh, printed here. Here is a uh, printed here. Just if decision box is there here, so put the decision box. Okay. So if gender equal to female, so gender equal to female, then this is miss. Okay. Otherwise, it is Mr. Okay, so end if end if and here it is end. Okay, so for example, if you see, is asking how many test cases are achieved to hundred percent decision coverage. So here is the one decision. So this is one test case like this. Another is one more decision here. So here is one more test case. So two test cases are required to get the hundred percent decision coverage. So two is the answer. Okay. So next one, a similar question is there here. So whenever pseudocode is given, try to uh, draw the flow chart. So here begin input x y x is greater than. So let's let's uh, draw the flow chart here. It is begin here. Okay, input x comma y. Okay, x comma y input. Then decision box is there. X greater than y. Okay. Then print. Print x is greater. Okay, print x is greater than y. Okay. Otherwise, y is greater than x right and end here okay so whenever a pseudocode is given try to draw the flow chart like this so what is the minimum test cases required to guarantee 100 percent statement and 100 percent decision so 100 percent statement means all blacks should all blocks should cover so one two three four five so one test case is 
covered like this vertically that is one test case so this x greater than y also should cover so one more test case is like this in l shape okay so two test cases are required to cover the under percent statement and under percent decisions means this is one decision right and this is one more decision so how many test cases are required two test cases are required so two test cases are required to cover all blocks and two test cases are required to cover all decisions so two and two is the answer okay so this is the answer so here state uh, transition diagrams are there so by seeing this so you can answer easily so he is telling that first one is x z v w okay so this is x z v and w so it is nothing but s1 s2 s3 s4 and again s2 okay and second is w y u u okay so w y so w is s4 and s2 okay and y is s2 to s4 okay then u u means s4 and again s4 so the answer is clearly first one okay a is the answer this is easy one yeah so next we will go here so a system calculates the amount of uh, duty so these things uh, we have to whenever these statements are given we have to immediately draw the boundaries okay you have to draw the boundaries so for example the no duty is paid goods up to 2000 okay so up to 2000 here no goods are there okay so up to 2000 it's a zero percent okay the next eight thousand dollars is tax rate ten percent so that is nothing but two thousand one to ten thousand this is next to eight thousand right so this is ten percent and the next twenty percent is twelve percent next twenty thousand how we'll get ten thousand one to thirty thousand okay this is 12 percent and next any further amount is 17 percent further amount means 30,001 to up to uh, any value greater than 30,000 then it is 17 percent so he is asking to the nearest dollar which of these groups numbers are fall three different equivalence equivalence for uh, classes okay so first one is 20,000 uh, means uh, your third one and 20,001 also third one okay so here we got two right uh, if you take a 20,000 20,001 is the third class and 30,000 is the fourth class so here we got two here we got one so this is not uh, three different equivalent partitions we did not get so a is the not the correct answer so if you take the b 2000 2000 means this one okay 2001 means this one and 10000 means this one so again we got only two classes not three different classes so b also not correct answer so a is not correct b is not correct c let us see uh, so c is the 2000 means this one okay and 2000 8000 means this one and 20000 means this one so one two three so three different classes right so c is the correct answer so we can put the correct answer here c and the fourth one also we will see 1500 means this one okay 2000 means again this one only 10000 means this one that means only two classes are covered so in case of c only we got three classes all others are two classes only okay so like that you can uh, decide so whenever any statements are given like this try to draw the uh, boundaries okay then you can easily uh, answer your question okay 
so in this case if you see all a b d only two classes are covered okay in case of c only three classes are covered so he is asking fall into three different equivalence classes that's why c is the correct answer okay here also similar one is there so here four statements are given same thing okay so here also up to 4000 4000 of salary tax free right so 4000 is 0 percent and the next 1500 is 10 percent next 1500 means what 4001 to 5500 5, is 10 percent okay and next 28000 is 22 percent next 28 how you will get 5501 to 33500 33500 that is 22 percent okay and next anything greater than is how much 40 percent okay so guys you have to understand how i am writing this so whenever these statements are given you have to clearly draw the boundaries then only you can answer the question correctly so up to 4000 free so 0% so 4001 to 5500 means next 1500 that is right so 10% so next 28 is this one 5501 to 33500 22% so 33501 to anything above 40% so here he is telling which of which of these is a valid boundary value analysis test case mm -hmm. So 28,000 is telling. So 28,000 is nowhere in boundaries, right? So this is wrong answer. 1,500, 1,500 also nowhere in the boundaries. So this is also wrong answer. So 33,501, yes, we have 33,501 in the boundary. Okay. So this is the correct answer. So 5,000, there is nowhere in the 5,000 in boundaries. So this is wrong answer. So like this, uh, like that we have to draw the boundaries, then you can easily answer the question. Okay guys, in this first part, uh, this much only, in the second part, I will cover remaining questions. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel Abhi Anvi Tutorials. Bye.